What up, Sci fan? It's your boy, Nickel. And this time, we're going to learn about different types of neurons. There are basically three classes of neurons that we're going to analyze. And so, um, what's important here is that you label your page types of neurons, and then you need to go back to the extras bin and get one of these pieces of paper, just like you did get the drawing of the neuron. You need to go get one of these pieces of paper, tape it into the very top of your science notebook page, and then we're going to define what happens to each of these neurons. All right, let's get started. So now that you've got this handout here taped in, you can see there is a sensory, a relay, and a motor neuron. Um, and you can see there that they do different things, but we're going to make some definitions here to really um, make sure that we've got everything written down and organized. So our sensory neurons are things that receive info. Essentially, they transmit signals from our sensory receptors to our CNS. And in this case, CNS stands for central nervous system, which is basically our brain. So if they transmit signals from our sensory receptors, that's like our hands and we touch something or our eyes and we see something. And it sends those signals to our brain, to our central nervous system. So sensory receptors are going to take something like, let's say, for example, from our eye to our brain. It's going to transfer that signal so that our brain can understand what's going on. So that arrow shows the flow of information where the transmission would happen from the eye to the brain. A relay neuron, which looks similar but not the same as a sensory neuron, a relay neuron is important for decision making. Decision making within the brain so that our neurons can talk to each other. So they transmit signals within the central nervous system or our brain basically. And so these ones, since they can send signals back and forth, we need to draw an arrow that goes both directions because it talks, it allows our brain to talk to different regions of our brain. So relay neurons are transferring signals back and forth. And then lastly, we have our motor neurons. And our motor neurons, they respond to a stimulus. So if you feel a hot candle flame, your body will activate the motor neurons to contract your muscles to pull your arm away from the flame. So here we can say that they transmit signals from the central nervous system, from our brain, to our muscles or our glands. So like if you see something really scary, then it will release um, some release some chemicals in our glands, like for example, adrenaline. So a motor neuron is going to have our brain send a signal down to our muscle so our muscle can contract or maybe even relax to release something. Like maybe we pick up something that's hot, our brain sends a um, signal to our muscles to relax and contr or not contract, but to relax, to release the hot item. Okay, so let's say that we see some water, we're like, oh my gosh, I'm so thirsty. So our eye sees the water, and it sends that signal down our sensory neuron. And the sensory neuron then sends that signal down the relay neuron. And then relay neurons are connected to motor neurons. And those motor neurons then have us pick this glass of water up and take a drink. So you can see that the signal is sent from our eye down the sensory neuron to our brain and the relay neuron. The relay neuron tells the information to our motor neuron and our motor neuron then allows us to get a drink. And that is how our neurons can work together to talk to one another and allow us to respond to stimuluses that are in our environment. So, Go out there and use those neurons. Use them up.